Graphic video and reports of violent outbursts at CCSD schools have gone viral in recent weeks, and it's leading to a call for action from parents, students, and teachers. A lot has been said about the pandemic and its impact on student behavior, but is there really more violence this year than before the pandemic? Well, reporter Jeremy Chin breaks down the data from CCSD and shows you one possible solution. This data gives us a picture as far as how many violent acts have been reported this year in the Clark County School District. The vast majority of them being harassment or threats, followed by fights and then assault and battery. As far as the locations of where these calls are at, you can see right there on your screen the top five schools, mostly high schools from all over the valley. I should note most of the numbers are actually threats or harassment rather than physical fights. While these numbers are a lot, a parent I talked to tells me this is an issue that keeps propping up for years and is in need of solutions. Instinctly, my, my first one is, you know, what's going on? You know, where, where, where can we help? That's the first thought going through Anna Binder's head. As a concerned parent, she's keeping a close eye on the number of violent acts reported by the Clark County School District this year, numbering more than 5,000. Binder says this number is not far from the last school year before the pandemic. At least just for violence to other students, there was over just over 7,600 reports. Um, for that school year. She says school violence is not a new issue within CTSD and the viral outbursts we've seen in recent weeks could happen at any school in the valley. The top five schools this year for reports of violent acts are spread out geographically. You can't ever suspect or assume that just because you live in one place or another that you know, your neighbors and your community aren't going to be suffering. But CCSD teachers say the pandemic certainly made challenges with student behavior worse. It was a much more anxious. There's a lot of anxiety amongst our student population. Uh, they have less uh, opportunities to interact. Uh, with each other, that's for sure. Another teacher believes the current staff shortage also isn't helping. When you don't have the adults around to take care of that and to monitor that, it, it can very easily get out of control. There's no question. Binder believes tackling school violence should be a community-wide effort. She points to Senate Bill 89 passed in 2019. If fully funded, it would provide $234 million to hire more support staff to help students. That money goes towards school psychologists, school nurses, um, uh, you know, just kind of that demographic of um, mental health uh, employees that we need in our schools. CCSD trustees do plan on talking about school violence at their scheduled board meeting on March 10. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jeremy Chen.